Hi, my name is Roberto Salvareza. I'm Superior Researcher of CONICET, our National Research Council. I coordinate the SPM and Surface Physical Chemistry Group. This platform works in nanoscience and nanotechnology at the Research Institute of Theoretical and Applied Physical Chemistry, which depend on CONICET and the National University of La Plata, Argentina. The platform involves 11 researchers and 16 PhD students and postdocs. We study the physical chemistry of molecular cells assembly on different metallic and semiconductor substrates for application in medicine, catalysis and electronic devices. In this context, thiolate protected nanoparticles are widely studied. However, the surface chemistry and structure remains controversial. In this perspective paper, we will show the complexity of the thiol metal interface and how it changes with the nature of the metallic core. We will focus our analysis on thiolate protected gold, silver and palladium nanoparticles, as they have very different chemical reactivity. My name is Carolina Mericat. I am a researcher at the Stunning Probe Microscopy and Surface Physical Chemistry Group. My research deals with nanomaterials of biomedical interest. Surface energy considerations are important to understand and to predict the morphology of nanoparticles. According to their size, their thermodynamic equilibrium shape is a truncated octahedron or a decahedron both exposing 111 and 100 crystal planes. Smaller nanoparticles are icosahedral, only formed by 111 planes. Thiolate protected nanoparticles adopt some of these shapes, and thus their crystal surface is dominated by these planes. Surface defects like steps and kings are also present and can play an important role. In any case, To understand the chemistry and surface structure of thiol cap nanoparticles, it is important to discuss the absorption of these molecules on the extended planar 111 and 100 surfaces. In the case of gold 111, aliphatic thiol absorption promotes the release of gold atoms from the surface. This leads to single vacancies, which can either diffuse to step edges or form large, larger vacancy islands on the terraces. As a result, gold ad atom thiolate complexes are formed, which have also been found in gold nanoclusters and nanoparticles. In contrast, aromatic thiols on gold 111 usually do not induce reconstruction. However, in nanoparticles covered by aromatic thiols, gold thiolate complexes can be formed due to lattice contraction and strain effects. In the case of silver 111 and silver nanoclusters, thiol absorption also produces strong reconstruction of the surface. Unlike 111 surfaces, there is little experimental and theoretical information about thiol absorption on the 100 planes. DFT calculations show that thiol covered 100 surfaces remain unreconstructed. However, more experimental work is needed to confirm the theoretical predictions. Hello, I'm Mariano Fonticelli. My research is focused in nanomaterials for electrocatalysis and electroanalysis. One of the former PhD students of our laboratory, Dr. Gaston Corte, has studied the thiol absorption on palladium surfaces. Thiols absorb some palladium 111 at saturation coverage, forming a complex interface which consists of thiolates onto a palladium sulfide layer. The presence of sulfide reflects the ability of palladium to break sulfur carbon bonds. Once sulfide is absorbed at low coverages, the surface becomes less active to further bond scission. As in the case of planar surfaces, the structure of palladium nanoparticles shows evidence of thiolate absorption on sulfide-rich surfaces. Interestingly, Sulfide seems to be responsible of the amorphous structure found in palladium nanoparticles. We have also studied the radiation damage related with the characterization of nanoparticles, a topic that is still under investigation in our lab. For instance, when nanoparticles are illuminated by the electron beam of a transmission electron microscope, 
The radiation can result not only in the changes in the position of the atoms, but can also modify the surface chemistry of the nanoparticles. We have discussed the surface chemistry of thiolate protected gold, palladium and silver nanoparticles, an important issue in relation to their application in many technological fields. Future work in the subject should address several important topics. In particular, we need to improve our knowledge on the surface chemistry and structure of thiolate absorbed and met at surface defects. Also, much more experimental work is needed on thiol absorption on the 100 phases because their contribution to the total nanoparticle surface increases with their size. Both topics become crucial in order to link extending surfaces with nanoparticle surfaces. More information about sulfur carbon bond cleavers is necessary, in particular on the role of effect in this process and on the effect of absorbed sulfide to promote a strong disorder in the metallic cores. Finally, it is also important to have a better understanding of the impact of electrons and X-rays on the surface chemistry and structure, as they induce dramatic changes on the surface chemistry and structure of nanoparticles.